Hey guys, welcome back to Rosen A TV. It is Damo here for another Transfer Daily, where I'll be recapping all the latest news and transfer rumors going on at AC Milan. Let's get started with Tuto Sport, as they're reporting that the Turkish giants Besiktas have joined the race for Milan's 33-year-old center back, Alex. Now, uh, obviously, a lot of controversy going around about the uh, non-European slots with bringing in players like Abdenor and such. Um, that's clearly not possible. And uh, with Alex, if you were to leave the club, it would not free up any spots. It's not how really how it works. Um, so don't think that we'll be able to sign a non-European player just for the fact of that. At least by my knowledge, that's why I believe how the rule works. Um, I don't think that's just something Alex is going to really change the rule at the moment, but possibly for next season, of, next season, of course. Um, but, you know, Alex, he wasn't awful last season. He wasn't great. Um, I wouldn't be too upset with selling him just for the fact of his wages and uh, there's better people we could bring in. But I, I think the whole team performed poorly last season. I think we can all agree to that. And uh, I think Alex is a player that could definitely perform under the right system. But if he does not fit Mihalovic's system, then he's not going to perform. And obviously, he will want to ship him out. So if that's the case, I'm all for him going like pretty much every player. If he doesn't fit the system, I don't mind him leaving. And uh, yeah, leave down below. Do you think Alex losing Alex will make a big deal to Milan? Is it more worth it in the end? What do you think? Leave it down below. Now, according to Milan news, Mastor, Albertazzi, Verdi, Agazzi, and Zaccardo may not join the squad for the China tour as they may be sold. Obviously, great news for a lot of people with a couple of names in there, but for some, some names they don't want to hear. For example, Mastor, a lot of people do not want him to be sold, including me. Um, I understand the theory of you're getting around, let's say, the if you go by the rumors, around five to six million for a kid who's unproven in an actual league, uh, playing the Primavera, of course, and, uh, you know, is more of a YouTube sensation that a lot of people say. It's not a bad deal. But if you ask me, five million, I'd much rather take the risk. There's obviously hype around him for a reason. Uh, PSG wouldn't want to buy, like, this is a business. Come on, PSG wouldn't want to buy a youngster just for his YouTube hits. Um, wh whether it be from popularity or something along those lines, um, clearly PSU won for a reason. If we go by the rumors that PSU would be the club, uh, as previously stated a couple of weeks ago, that PSU were interested in a swap deal with Ibra Mastor, but currently that's not what's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be one for selling Mastor, mainly for the fact of I'd rather just take the risk, and it's not even a big risk because it's only $5 million and he's a player that's so highly tutored. I'd rather just wait and see, um, you know, until he's at a proper age where you can actually judge him. Around 20, 21, then you can start making proper judgments of whether or not you want to sell him. But I, I completely agree with people who disagree at that point. Uh, next up, Gazetta reporting that Romagnoli agrees for an AC Milan move, but the transfer fee is yet to be agreed with Roma. Obviously, the big dilemma going on this entire transfer window, the fee with Roma. They're being very stingy on that $30 million price tag. Don't want to let them go for any cheaper at AC Milan, especially of any other club. Um, there's been a lot of ports recently about Romagnoli. Um, I reiterate every video I love for him to come to Milan. Uh, Media set also reporting that Milan have made a new offer of $25 million plus $3 million in bonuses for Romagnoli, while Milan News reiterate that Milan's final offer is still $25 million. So obviously all the different sources saying different things. Um, don't really know what to make the most out of because it's going to be hard to really judge who's telling the truth and who is not. Um, kind of a sticky situation. I don't know what you guys think. You can tell me down in the comments below. As I said, it uh, would be good to know because I'm a little bit lost in this whole ordeal about Romagnoli. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to not believe. So uh, hopefully he ends up in Milan in the end. would be great to see. Now, uh, Gazetta are reporting that Verdi mentioned the list of players that may be going on their way out, not on the tour. Uh, is close to joining Genoa for 1.5 million euros. Now, not a bad deal. Um, you know, 1.5 million, it's not too bad, I guess you could say. But again, do we really need to sell Verdi? He could be a good squad player in the future. He could, uh, you know, live up to some form of potential. And again, like my story, you could just take the risk and wait it out. Um, I don't know. It's it's a it's a weird situation. 1.5 million isn't too much money. But if it releases some wages, if it gains some funds, uh, you know, whatever Milan feels best, I guess we're going to have to go with that. He's not an impactful player. Um, as I mentioned previously in other videos with players like Albertazzi, he's not somebody that you're going to freak out over if he leaves, and he's not somebody that you're going to freak out, freak out over if he stays. So either way, I guess we're going to have to see what happens, and uh, hopefully the best happens. As I said, I'm sure Milan know what they're doing with these players of these lower caliber, 
as weird as that sounds. Now, Atuto Sport are claiming that PSG have given the yes for Ibrahimovic to join a new club. I am praying that this is true. Despite his wages, I would love Ibrahimovic at Milan. All the other fans can say what they want, that it would kill Milan financially, whatever. But obviously, if Milan are going to do the deal, uh, they know what they're coming up against. They know how much they're going to make from Ibra profit-wise, whether that be from shirt sales, attention, uh, you know, uh, stadium attendance. Obviously, he's going to rise up a bunch when you're signing a player like Ibrahimovic. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happens, like all the other rumors, see what Milan go with, and see if this rumor is actually true that PSG are letting him go. A lot of reports, as previously yesterday, saying that uh, PSG will replace him with Lacazette from Lyon, of course, had some great numbers this season. And, uh, you know, wouldn't be a bad signing for them. But I would take Ibra, as I mentioned. I'm sure all of you would as well, or at least most of you. If you don't, if you do, leave down below, as I keep saying, because I want to hear your feedback in the comments. Discuss it with everybody else as well. Do you think Ibra should come to Milan? Are his wages really worth it? Leave it down below. Do you think Milan should do the deal? So thank you for watching. It has been Adamo from Rosen TV with another Transfer Daily. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like and be sure to subscribe for further content. So thank you for watching. And as usual, Forza Milan.